name is Kenneth Intende and welcome back to the Ultimate Sales Course. In this segment of the course, we will be dealing with sales prospecting. Now, sales prospecting is the first step of every sales process. This is the phase where you have to reach out to people in order to close sales or the place where you have to sieve out the leads that the marketing team has brought in order to close them. So for this segment of the course, we'll be taking you step by step. How do you go about sales prospecting? What do you do? How do you get the best results from your sales prospecting? So let's get started. So the first step in the sales prospecting is what they call the ICP. Now ICP stands for Ideal Customer Profile. I've encountered quite a number of sales people and they tell you, do you know what? For us, for our business, we, we know Uganda has 10 million internet users, so we're just targeting 0.5% of this 10 million, and that is who our customer is. Uh, just because someone uses the internet doesn't make them your customer. So you need to actually understand what your ideal customer profile is like. Get things like, number one, where are they located? Number two, what are their age groups? If you're selling a B2B product, it doesn't make sense for you to be marketing and selling out to 18, 17 year olds because they're not yet in the, in the working realm. Get to understand if it's a company, what's the profile of this company like? Take an example, if you're targeting banks, are you targeting all banks or are you targeting just the low, lower end banks, the ones that don't have as much resource as possible? So um, the first step is first go through what they call the ICP. Literally state it out. Or we're targeting people of this age, or we're targeting companies that have been around this long. Um, we're targeting startups, we're targeting businesses in this industry. Be as specific as possible. For the person, get the age, get the geography, get the industry they're in, get as much detail as possible. It will help you define who exactly you're looking for as opposed to you being generic and saying people who live in Kampala. Yes, they live in Kampala, but where are you going to begin from? Kampala is big. So which step do you take first? Where do you get started? That is the role of what the ICP is, just to help you identify where you begin from. Now, step number two in sales prospecting is identifying what the problem is in relation with your industry. Just because you've identified that that customer is your ideal customer it doesn't mean that your solution actually fits what the problem he has and the best solutions usually come around after understanding exactly what is this customer's problem take an example if you're selling a b2b pro if you're selling a b2b software have you reached out to them have you actually tried to understand what their problem areas are and try to cover out your product to help resolve their problem that is the second step. Always first understand that customer's problem. Don't rush to selling to them this, that, that, that. First understand what their issue is and wave out your product or your solution as a response to what their problem is. Now step number three is understand where the people in your industry hang out. So if you're selling a, take an example, a product to bankers, figure out where do they party from. Which communities do they have on Facebook? Are they on LinkedIn? Under which communities? So that what this what the role of this is is try and get involved where the people you want to sell to are involved. If they have groups on Facebook, literally reach out, go join those groups. That way you take part in their conversations. It will make starting a conversation much easier when you're already in similar groups. You hang out in similar places. Starting out a conversation in regards to selling to them a product becomes much, much easier when you know these specific places that you, the people you want to sell to are. Now, step number four, which is the final step, is you have to reach out. So after you've identified what the profile is, you've gone ahead and even included yourself in their Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, or whatever, you have to actually find a way of now reaching out. This could mean you sending out an email with a proposal. This could mean you literally cold calling and picking up the phone and saying, do you know what, my name is so-and-so, um, this is what I do, I, I believe we met here and there. So please, I actually wanted us to establish a meeting and talk about this, that and that. So this is the fourth step. After you have identified the profile, you've actually established where these people hang out, the final step is just to reach out. 
do an email, do an SMS. I mean, what do you have to lose? Just reach out and get something closed ultimately. So yeah, in conclusion, this is part of what they call the ultimate sales course. It's an entire tutorial teaching you how to actually sell. How do you persuade someone into buying one of your products? We have so many topics that we have dealt on across the entire course. So it's part of an entire playlist. You could have a look at that. And if you want a more one-on-one -on -one experience over Zoom or, or at your offices, you could feel free to reach out to us. Our details are in the description below. That's all for today, folks. Thank you.